In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to edit the styling and layout of your blog posts for the Buddy Boss theme. So to get to this area I'm in, you go to Buddy Boss theme options, and then click on blog. The first option we can see here is the blog layout. So we'll start with list view, which looks like this. And then we can move to masonry. Masonry puts things into a kind of organic looking grid. And then we can go to grid view, which is similar to masonry, but more of a fixed grid. So you can see this better when I show you a blog with some content. You can head over to our public demo. If you go to blog, blog masonry, you can see what masonry looks like with some real content. And then we can go to list view and we can go to grid, which is gonna be very similar to masonry, but with fixed sizing. So my personal favorite is masonry, but it really depends on your style and your content. So we'll save this back to list view for now. And then let's move to featured image style. So first let's get a featured image in a post. So we'll go to posts and we'll edit one of our blog posts. And then we're gonna to go to featured image. We can upload, I already have one in my media library that I'm gonna use. Now we have our featured image, so let's view that. So we can see one style is like that. We can go with this style. or we can go with this style. So that also just depends on your personal preference and the type of content you have on your site. And then we can see enable related posts. So if we go back to our blog posts, this is basically showing all the related articles, just pulling in other articles that have been published. If we want to turn that off, we can and they go away. If we turn it back on, you'll see it asks for how many we wanna show at a time. So in this example, I only have three posts, but if you had m multiple, then you could actually slide through these. So again, if I go to our public demo, we can see here with some real content, we can slide through the related articles, which is pretty cool. And we have enable post author box. Here, we don't really have anything about the post author. But I could turn that on. And now we see some info about the post author, just like we have here. And of course, if you click it, it links to your social profile. And then we have enable the floating social share. So on the blog post, you have share on Facebook or tweet. And you can either turn that on or off. If I turn it off, it will go away. This will only work, it's not gonna work on like a local host, it has to be on a real server. So you have a real URL to share. And it'll open up your Facebook and post to share it, to share the article link. And then last but not least, we have the newsletter signup form. So if you turn that on, then you can add a short code. You'll wanna use some external newsletter uh, service or plugin that could give you a short code you could add in. It'll output that short code so you could have a uh, newsletter signup at the end of your blog post.